Hi, I'm going to take you on a short tour of the Yun Shui Yao Tolo village in Fujian province, China, and show you a bit of what you might expect if you were to come here. I'm also going to give you some tips, and if you would like to see more details or photos, do see the accompanying article on my website. The link is in the description below. Maybe you've seen photos of Tolo showing cylindrical ring-shaped buildings with a hollow center and black roof that look somewhat like clusters of car tires from a bird's eye view and wondered what they were. Well, Tolo, a residential building built with soil in the countryside and can take on any shape. The word Tolo actually means soil buildings. These countryside villages are home to local people and the whole village has been preserved and turned into a ticketed scenic area. As a result, Shops here are family run and tend to mostly sell locally produced products or produce. You can even see local residents farms and yards so I feel it isn't very commercial and it's quite small. So if you want to see a place that is more traditional or original, this is the place for you. This also means you won't find the convenience you do get in the city such as seated toilets, convenience stores or restaurants, at least not outside the village centres. You'll be walking around outside so do prepare accordingly for rain. Tour groups and coaches for this area arrive in a large car park and from there it's on foot. First stop is the water wheel at the village centre. This took about 10 to 15 minutes depending on the size of your tour group. A day trip from Xiamen City will typically take about 3 hours drive each way including rest stops. There are a few small shops around the water, there is even accommodation in the area but you will need to arrange your own transport to this area first. You can buy local produce like fruit in the shops here. Further into the village, you can see a variety of tool wall. Some residents charge a small amount for visitors to go into the courtyard and or up the stairs, and is unlikely to be included in the cost of your tour. This is not to rip you off, but for maintenance. The buildings are made of soil and wood and is designed for family use, and if stomped on by thousands of visitors a day, it would quickly wear. This one that you see here, however, is free to enter because it is not residential. Rather, it is more of a shop. This is a functional well in one of the village courtyards. You can still drink from it. You can buy some souvenirs characteristics of the area further into the village. My tour included trips to the homes of local tea farming families to try their local tea, which you can then purchase. Here you can see some tea being roasted and dried in the oven. If you come during spring and probably as well during autumn when the tea is being harvested, you can see some of the teas being dried outside in the sun and it smells quite fragrant as you walk by. Now for some quick tips. If you are coming with a tour group on a day trip, you'll probably get picked up early in the morning. So you'll have to pack your own breakfast to eat on the bus. You can get food from grocery stores and bakeries, and I suggest you bring extra as the lunch stop was quite short. The ground around the river was paved with cobblestones and the size of the rocks varied greatly, so it's uneven. So wear comfortable walking shoes. Thanks for watching, I hope you found it interesting. Subscribe to get notified of more videos and be sure to check out my website.